HBr can be added either Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov. In order to be added anti-Markovnikov, you need to have a peroxide present. A peroxide is essentially a molecule with an oxygen-oxygen single bond. These are very unstable molecules and they can be split by either a little bit of heat or even light. And the way they're split one electron goes onto one oxygen, the other electron goes onto the other oxygen. They're split equally. And we show this designation by moving only one electron by a single headed arrow. Sometimes we refer to these as fish hooks. And we generate two oxygen radicals. Now, this process is reversible, and one of these radicals then can stumble upon an HBr, and it can pull off a hydrogen from that HBr, and so the single unpaired electron from the oxygen goes to the hydrogen, and then one electron from the HBr bond goes to meet it the other electron goes onto the bromine atom. And you generate a new species, a bromine radical. Now, this bromine radical can go and find an alkene to add to. It adds to form the more stable radical it can. And radical stability often follows that of carbocation stability, meaning the more substituted the carbon it radical is, the more stable it is. And so the bromine radical will add to the, to the left hand side the least substituted carbon, and that forces the radical onto the more substituted carbon. So, and then this radical goes and finds another HBr, and pulls its hydrogen off, generating the product plus a bromine radical, the bromine radical can then go and repeat the process of adding to another alkene. That generates another carbon radical, which generate, reacts with another HBr to generate a new bromine radical. All these steps, of course, are reversible, but the end product that you get has the bromine on the less substituted carbon and the hydrogen on the more substituted carbon, Hence, it is anti-Markovnikov.